I'm going to explain and prepare you to be the most wonderful chair during Simon Conference in March. Please listen this carefully during your prep, because this can save you tons of time, believe me. Any time during this video that you feel confused, you may pause the video and double check that in chair rules or search online. Okay, to be an eligible decent chair in formal module and conference, first of all, you need to work on your appearance. And that does not make sense or mean your physical enhancement of face, hair, oh no. Beyond that, you need to follow strict dress code. Then, you need to be well aware of your job. As chairs, you and your partner are the superior powers in your committee, which means two things. One, your language needs to be absolutely discreet, accurate, rules related, and sometimes a little harsh when it's out of order or control so that your delegates can be led by clear instructions. Two, you have to abide by model UN conference procedure in the given timetable or time schedule. This totally entitles the chair to call upon any particular delegates to speak in the interest of the whole procedure or pause in any necessary, unnecessary disorder in the house. So, let's get to the bottom of this. Language. There are two parts of this. One is the language you use to communicate with the co-chair. It might seem a little easy just saying you communicate with your co-chair, but it's not. When two of you contradict yourselves and interrupt each other, it's gonna be kind of mess, right? Remember, never interrupt your partner when he or she speaks and make sure when one speaks, the other is doing administrative work, like taking notes. Just so be clear, you have to be silent so that you're not undermining each other's authority in the house. The other language you have to be very careful the wording spoken to the delegates, which is crucial. A cherry style has to be remain throughout the time. You do not need to apologize for the mistakes of any kind. Just get over with it and proceed further. Beyond that, you also need to be well responsive to certain common points, including but not limited to the points of information, points of order, points of personal privilege. Another thing to keep your chairing style is to avoid direct communication between delegates. Be aware that the delegate could only communicate through the paper slips during a time other than lobbying. And last, ensure the delegates say the delegate use the floor back to the chair to, or to the other delegates every time they give up the podium. 